What is up, Instagram? What is up, Stick Mobility Instagram? This is Coach Jesse coming to you. We're going to do that superficial back line. This is more of a strength and conditioning workout than what we've experienced so far. We're actually going to be working specific movement patterns, and we're pairing patterns as we do this. So you're going to need a stick bundle. That's two longs and a short. I'm going to be functioning with two sixes and a four as we go through this today. So two sixes and a four. Very similar warm-up to what we've been experiencing in the past. Our warm-up has consistently been doing some joint articulations. Our warm-up has consistently been articulating that spine. We're going to do that. I'm going to stick, teach you stick matrix today. We're actually going to pair some movement patterns together. Again, an emphasis on the superficial back line. But as I've mentioned in the past, as we're working on these uh, training sessions, it's superficial back line dominant, which doesn't mean we're not going to work other patterns as we do this. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully you join me. Uh, I'm going to be working out in my shoes. I got some Viva barefoot, but if you would like to work out barefoot, please jump on that. I'm gonna give everybody a couple more minutes and then we will get started. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I will be paying attention to the app as we go through. We will be working the sets and reps and we will be creating some tension in the sticks as we do this, giving us a little feedback. Love to work that superficial back line. I'm still here. And I'm here. Hmm. Ah, it's hot down here in Florida still. All righty. Give people about another minute to show up. And then we will get started. If my sound's good, can people give me a thumbs up or a wave? Either, either one of those things will work. If your sound is on right now, thumbs up or wave, I will take both. Just tells me sound is working. We are golden. Who's going to be that nice person who gives me that up? Who's going to be that nice person who lets me know? There it is. Thank you so very much. Really appreciate that. Looks like sound is on. We are rolling. So let's take the sticks 10 and 2 directly out in front of us. Shoulders out of our ears. Grabbing. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the literal thumbs up. Someone spelled out thumbs up and I appreciate you. That took extra effort. So from here, feet are hip distance apart, sticks at 10 and two. I like the little bend in the wrist as we're doing this. It just kind of keeps us from uh, white knuckling these sticks. That's not the goal as we're working through this. So from here, shoulders out of the ears, tuck that tailbone in. Let's work that neck articulation. We're gonna do two in each direction here. So chin to chest, ear to the left shoulder, chin to ceiling. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest all the way around. Let's do it one more time. Just pushing down about 10% into the sticks. Nothing major. Just trying to keep those shoulders out of those ears, using this as a little bit of block. Good, let's go to the other side. So gently pushing down, grounded feet, reset. And let's work the other side. Working around, big rotations here. Uh, let's get one more. Good, let's shake it out just a little bit. Let's work into that scapula. Now, just a review of our scapular cars. We're using the sticks, we actually get to push down a little bit. I'm gonna do this side facing so you can see, but we're working through all of that scapular stuff. We know that these things gotta move pretty well. And if they don't, it's gonna limit how well my shoulder can move. And then all of a sudden I start getting shoulder pain and I can't figure out why. It's usually the scapula is the culprit. Hands out in front. We're gonna protract, so pull the shoulders forward. Elevate, retract, depress. Protract, elevate, retract, depress. One more. Protract, elevate, retract, depress. Let's reverse direction. Retract, elevate, protract, depress. Retract, elevate, Protract, depress, one more. Retract, elevate, protract, depress. Good, all right, now take one stick, just bring it down to your side for now. Other stick in your hand directly out in front of you. 
We're gonna hold it directly in line with our belly button. We're gonna go through our shoulder curves now. So right hand is open, wrist is still wrapped and slightly pushing down. Right hand across, pinky to stick, bicep to ear, turn that arm inside out, reach it back without turning the chest. Gonna go the other direction, driving the palm to the wall behind me as high as I can get it. Externally rotate, bring it around, bring it in front. My dad joke of the day, don't bend your elbow, that's your humorous, and we're not trying to be funny. One more, up and across. I know I'm probably gonna get some cross looks for that one, that's for sure. In, internally rotate, bring it around, other direction, palm to the ceiling, unwrap, pinky in front and in front, good. Sticks are already in the right place, let's just switch. So slowly gonna bring that pinky up and across, bicep to ear, internally rotate the shoulder, reach it back as far as we can, other direction, palm to the wall behind us, externally rotate that shoulder, reach around. We're not trying to go place the pain. If you feel any closing angle joint pain as you're going through these cars, let's try and stay out of those positions. Let's go again, nice and slow up. Bicep hugs the ear, internally rotate the shoulder, reach that thumb back. Good, let's try and keep that trap out of it here. Just working that shoulder. Good, we are gonna do spine today. Now we haven't been doing any spine and we are gonna work into um, some spine work. I'm gonna teach you the matrix today, it's one of my favorites. But when we are doing the spine, we're gonna go a little wider stance. And when I'm using the stick for the spine, I like to use it as my angle of direction. So in this case, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it into the crux of my elbows. I'm gonna kind of sign a Wakanda, RIP Chadwick Boseman, sign a Wakanda, so I'm pulling it in, and I'm gonna protract that scap with my glutes really, really tight. From here, I wanna show you this from the side so you can see it. With my glutes squeezed tight and tucked in, I'm going to peel forward, rotate. The beauty is now I can see the stick rotating. Laterally flex, extend, laterally flex, rotate, and flex forward as I do that, really localizing it into my cervical spine. So, some anatomical terminology. Now, let's just talk layman, shall we? Squeeze those glutes, what kind of pull, pull those shoulder blades forward, round right in the middle of the spine. Turn your chest only to the right as far as you can without turning your hips. Lean your right shoulder towards the floor. Go ahead and start trying to drive your chest to the ceiling. Wrap it around. Left shoulder towards the floor. Chest turning to the left. And then around in front of you and shake it out a little bit. Again, go to places that you can control, not ones that you can't. Let's do the other side. Wide feet, tight glutes, abs tight, pull the shoulder stuff off, round forward, rotate left, lean left, extend, leaning to the right, rotate to the right, wrap it around, one more time, forward, rotate left, leaning left, Extend, glutes tight, lean right, rotate right, and forward. Whew. Those are our thoracic spine cars. Can we make those more global? We can, we will get into that when we get into the matrix today. So, back to two sticks, two longs. Gonna hold the sticks a little bit farther out now. Now I'm working a little bit more 930 and 230. Gonna push down with the sticks, take the right foot, turn it in towards the left. We're gonna work that hip card. Now remember, when we're working and articulating the hip, we are focusing on the hip itself. We are not trying to move anything else. So right knee comes up. Find my end point of internal rotation. Externally rotate, so bring it out. Don't move the left, don't add the low back. Wrap it around, hug it knee to knee. Now I'm gonna go out to the side as far as I can. Externally rotate the hip. Wrap it across and bring it down. One more on that side. Foot turned in, up, externally rotate it, wrap it around, drive it in, and bring it out, and around, in and down. Nice job, let's do the other side. Left foot turns in now, up, 
out, around and in, switch directions. Now we want to keep that low back from helping. So I'm going to show you a side view of what low back help, look, helping in the hip car looks like. So here, 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 here. We want to stay out of that. We want to focus on the hip only itself. So here we go. Turn it in, bring it up, externally rotate it, bring it out, internally rotate it, wrap it around, out to the side as far as I can, externally rotate, bring it around, and put it down. Now I got those hips to work, which is good. Let's get those ankles to work a little bit as well. Now, last week we did a split hip ankle car and knee car. Today we're actually going to do what we did on week one, where we just focused on um, bending those knees and trying to get as much ankle dorsiflexion as we can. So from here, I'm gonna push down in the sticks and I'm gonna do myself a little sissy squat as far as I can. And then come back up again. I'm trying to drive the knees as far over the toes as I can. Could you bring those heels up? You can. Down. Back up. Well, pick your progression. Maybe for you, this is enough. Okay, we're getting into those ankles. Maybe you can bring those heels up, you can use the sticks, and you can try and drive down as much as you can for quad, get the ankle a little bit, and then coming back up. Pick your progression as you go through this. We're going to do five reps. There we go. Light push down to six, shoulders out of the ears. I'm going to go heels up, forward as far as I can. Leaning back, using the sticks a little bit. And then back up, and that's one. Push down a little harder into the sticks. Heels come off, working down. Trying to drive that, those knees to the ground. Win in the limbo contest, keep my glutes tight. And that's two, three more. Light push down, heels off, working down. We're only pushing down about 25, 30% at most. Squeeze those glutes, win the limbo contest. Three, good, you can see I'm starting to fatigue a little bit. Two more. Glutes, give me some push. Find the ground as much as you can, whatever your progression is here. Let's get it one more time. Heels off. Gentle push, five more, five more, five more, abs tight, and back up again. Good. Should feel that front of the quad, in the ankle a little bit, getting those anterior tibs to fire, getting those ankles to fire just a little bit more than they would otherwise. So let's start getting into the matrix. So this is, you're going to need your short, one of my favorite movements, and when we do it, we're actually going to do this with sets and reps. Now this is a total spine articulation. So we are going to get into stabilization and extension of our spinal erectors, that superficial back line that we've been talking about. But I gotta teach this piece by piece with you. So I need you to grab your short. I need you to hold it directly in front of you, hands a little wider than your shoulders. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to just reach up and across to your left. So your right hand's coming across that head and you're leaning that lateral line to the right a little bit. Now from here, give me a little extension and a little flexion. Little extension of the spine, little flexion of the spine, little extension, little flexion. Come down, let's do the other side. Left across, push that left lateral line to the side. Little extension, glutes tight. Little flexion. Little extension, glutes tight. Little flexion, light pull apart on the stick here. Little extension. Little flexion, one more. Little extension. Little flexion, and then bring it back around again. So that's the first part of the matrix that we're gonna learn. Let's go back to the right side. Let's do that again. Set number two, we're gonna do two sets of each position. Once we're done with the two sets, we'll then put the whole thing together for three sets of the matrix. So, my hand a little wider than shoulders width apart. Bring your hands up and to the side. Right extension of that right lateral line. 
Light pull apart of the stick. Extend the spine. Flex the spine. Extend the spine. Flex the spine. That's two. Extend the spine. And flex the spine. That's three. Two more. Extend. Flex. That's four. One more time. Extend. And flex. That's five. Good. We should be trying to open up all that rib cage stuff as we're doing this. Reset the hands. Across to the left. Excuse me, to the right. Left arm's coming across the head. Push that lateral line open. Light pull apart, about 20% of the sticks. Extend, squeeze your glutes. Flex, push your hips back. Extend, squeeze your glutes. Flex, pull those hips back. Three more. Extend. Flex. Extend. Flex. One more. Extend. And flex. Good. So, first part of the matrix taken care of. Now, we're going to go into a hinge. I'll back up a little bit so you can see this. So, we're going to do the same thing. But now we're going to work from a hinged position. So from a hinged position, I'm going to bring the stick on the outside of my left ankle. Hands go here. So I'm bent and across. I'm lightly pull up, pulling the part of the stick. I'm going to reach up and open, down and across, pushing the stick together. Up and open, down and across, up and open down and across. So as I come across, I'm trying to push together, move my hip out of the way without leaning to the side. Up and open, but don't extend the hips, keep some flexion. Down and across, one more. Up and open, and down and across. Slowly round that spine, come back up, little Jefferson curl to the top. Let's do the other side. So working right side now. Round all the way down. Work that stick to the outside of the right ankle. Push the stick together. Up and open. Left arm comes across. Down and across. Right hand comes across so it's outside left pinky toe. Up and open. Down and across. Up and open. Down and across. Up and open, down and across, last one, up and open, down and across. Woo! My spine feels that one, I don't know about you. Now remember, only go to positions that you can control. If this is your bottom, that's your bottom, you're fine, okay? But if you can get down there with me, get down there with me, but go own your ranges, okay? As my shirt says, control yourself. Shout out FRC for cool shirts. All right, now, back to the right side. So down, stick on the outside of the right ankle, or left ankle, excuse me. So right hand's out, so we're, we're stick parallel with the outside of my left foot. Pushing the stick together, up and open, driving that right rib cage forward. Down and across, stick to the opposite side. Up and open. Down and across. Still pushing together the stick about 25%. Up and open. Down and across. Up and open. Down and across. One more. Up and open. Down and across. Center and slowly come up. We are getting that superficial back line to start working here. We're going to get into the matrix after this last set. And I'll explain why I call it the matrix. It should be pretty obvious when I demonstrate the exercise. So, back to the right side now with the stick pushing apart. Stick on the outside of the right foot. If that's higher, that's fine. If you can get it down here at the ankle, awesome. Pushing together. So from here, up and open. Down and across. Up and open. Down and across, 
three more up and open down and across two more up and open down and across one more try and squeeze those glutes and tuck up and open down and across Whew. so we've broken down two parts of it Now we're gonna get into putting the matrix together. So, a couple keys when you're completing the matrix. One, we are only gonna to work to one direction per set. So as we're doing this, we're trying to work around and we're putting together those two styles of movement that we just did. And the glutes have to squeeze really, really tight as we do this. If we lose glute engagement, then we're going to lose the movement. Also, I don't want your knees to be locked out. I want some softness in the knees so these hips can move. Okay, if the knees are locked, we're gonna probably put some pressure in that SI and I don't want that. So let the knees bend. So let me demonstrate the first rep of the matrix. Then we'll do our first five. So from the starting standing position, I'm gonna push the stick together. Oh, last thing, if you noticed, at the bottom we were pushing, at the top we were pulling. Remember that, because as we work through this matrix, we're gonna be pushing at the bottom, pulling at the top. So from the top, I'm gonna turn 45 so you guys can see me. I'm gonna Jefferson curl my way down. Every vertebrae, every vertebrae, every vertebrae. I'm gonna go across, pushing, open, start tucking that tailbone, pulling apart on the stick. Pull, 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 glute squeeze, glute squeeze. To the left and all the way around and then pushing it together. And that's my first revolution up and open and then pull and open more and then all the way around to the other side push as you bring it back down and that is our matrix why do i call it the matrix well the first time i discovered that move it looked like neo dodging bullets in the matrix and i love that movie so i was going to name it after the matrix so here we go we are going to go to the left for five reps. We are going to stand up. We are going to rest with breath. If you were already nasal breathing, I want you to start it right now. We are gonna rest for six breaths, four, six breathing. And then we are going to go to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. Is nasal breathing harder while I'm doing this? Heck yeah, it is. Do I want you to try and do it? Absolutely. What is it? Yoda say, says do or do not, there is no try. So here we go. Feet hip distance apart, pushing this stick, stick together about 25-30%. Good. Going to the left, pushing the stick together, up and open, to the side for that flag, pull apart, soft knees, tight glutes, all the way around, dodge those bullets, pulling apart on the stick, down to the other side, Push the stick together. That's our first revolution. Let's do three, four more. Push, still going to my left. Pull, squeeze, win, around, push, down. That's two, three more. Across, open, pull, keep opening to the ceiling all the way around. Push together as I come down. One more time. Across, push, tuck, open, squeeze those glutes, find the ceiling all the way around. Push it together and then bring it down and slowly come up one vertebrae at a time and rest. I'm gonna count your breath. Six breaths here. In, four, three, two, one out six five four three two one nasal only in four three two one nasal out six five four three two one in four three two fill that diaphragm one out six five four three two one number five in 
four, three, two, one, out, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, in, four, three, two, one, out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet hip distance apart. Pushing this stick together 25, 30%. We're going right now. Jefferson curl around that spine on the way down. To the right. Up and open. Pull that stick apart. Squeeze those glutes. Soften those knees. Just to the ceiling. All the way around to the other side. Push it together. Bring it around. That's one. Cross. Up and open. Tuck. Squeeze. Pull. Just to the ceiling. All the way around. Push. Bring it around. That's two, three more. Up and open, tuck, squeeze, find that ceiling. Big extension, push. Three, two more. Cross, push, tuck, squeeze, pull, open, push. All the way around the left side, that's four, one more time. Win the limbo contest, keep the knees soft. Up, tuck, pull, squeeze, push. All the way around, and then center. Up nice and slow. I said we're doing this sets and reps. That was our first set. We have a second set to do. In, four, three, two, one. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you want, you can push into the stick and try and keep yourself tall and breathe only in through your diaphragm. Okay, so push in through the stick so that it's harder for the chest to rise. Focus into your diaphragm for your breathing. Rep number three. In, four, three, two, one, out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. In, four, three, two, one, out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. In, four, three, two, one. One, out, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more, in, four, three, two, one, out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start of the second set. Feet hip distance apart. I want you to push harder at the bottom now, up to 40 if you can. Round that spine on the way down. Cross to the left, up and open, pull the 40 now, soft knees, squeeze those glutes around, push the 40 again, I'm on my right, and that's my first wrap. Left, up and open, pull, squeeze, 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 push, all the way around, that's two. You should feel more like Neo than you did in that first set. Up and open, pull. Big open, big open, big open, big open, big open, push. Two more. Up and open, pull, pull, push, 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 pull, 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 tuck, squeeze, 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 squeeze around, push. One more. Around, 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 around. Up and open, squeeze those glutes, soften those knees, pull at 40, around, win the limbo contest, down, push.
Long back leg, long front arm, 70. And up, and that's eight. Good, so meet your feet. Switch your hands. My right leg's forward, my left arm's back now. So left arm is at 12 o'clock. Right foot is forward and in front. Back hip is in extension. Right arm is back, 435, somewhere around there. Same thing here, here we go. Down, drive that back heel down. Reach that front arm forward, push it at 40%. Up, that's one. This is a support hand, that's what it's meant for. Down. Reach, drive that heel back. Up, two. Trying to get nice and long on that backside. Down. Up, that's three. Push it 50%. Down. Drive that heel back, drive that heel back, drive that heel back, drive that heel back. Up, four. 60%. Down. Up, it's five. Down. Up, six. Here we go. 70% push that front hand. Down. Up, that's seven. One more time. Down. And up, and that's eight. Good. So. Those are our first two. We're gonna take one stick, put it down. We're gonna find some wall space. We're gonna do some wall push. Love to pair hinge and push together. I know I'm a little further away from you right now, but all we're doing is lining up, stick pushing in, pushing it into the wall. From here, don't shift my hips. Press the arms out. Pull it back in. That's one. Push. Pull, two, push harder. Let's go up to 60% right now. Push, pull, that's three. Push, pull, that's four. Push, pull, that's five. Push, pull, that's six. Two more. Push, pull, that's seven. One more time, pushing 60% of the left arm. Push. And pull, that's eight. Good, let's switch over to the other side. Remember, trying not to let the hip shift. Trying to stay upright here as I do this. So here we go. Give me grounded feet. Body lining up with where the handle hits the orange. Hands even. 60% of the right arm. Push. Pull, that's one. Push. Pull, that's two. Push. Pull, that's three. Push, keep that left hip turned forward. Pull, that's four. Push. Pull, that's five. Push. Pull, that's six, two more. Push. Pull, that's seven, one more time. Push. Pull, that's eight, and pull it in. Woo! Two sides there. Let's pick up double sticks. Let's just get a nice little bilateral hinge here as our third exercise. So side facing push, we've got that rotational hinge. Now we're gonna get that nice long bilateral hinge feet down. Push those sticks down, wrap those wrists around. Long spine. And come up, that's one. Push back, push down, 40% of the sticks. Up, that's two. If you see me shaking, it's because I'm trying to create more space, hip to uh, neck, back. Up, that's three. Back. Up, that's four. More and that's fine. Come on, you got more. Back. Up, that's five. Three more. Back. Up, that's six. Let's turn it up. 60% push into the sticks. Back. Up, that's seven. One more time. Back. Woo! Reach, 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 reach. Up, that's eight. Whoa. 
Set one's done. I'm sweating a little bit. I don't know about you. Let's get the let's go back to the start. Let's do that all one more time. So we're gonna go offset stance, left arm at 12. Actually, I'm sorry, right arm at 12, right leg back. I'm in this nice long stance here. I'm upright here. My back heel should should uh, be able to touch the ground when I'm in upright, but not when I get into this position. Left arm is at 738, somewhere right around there. Rotate it slightly into that left hip. Down, push it 40 on that front arm. Up, that's one. Lengthen that back side, you should feel more. Down, straight back leg, drive that heel to the ground, reach that front arm, push in. Up, that's two. Down. Up, that's three. Down. Up, that's four. We're doing two more. We're doing sixes this set. Down, push, 60%. Push, push, push. Up, that's six. Let's get a little 10 second hold this last one. Down, 70% push into the sticks. Drive that heel back and push for 10, nine, push, eight, harder, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Come up, let's switch it up. Left arm forward, right arm back. Left arm's at 12. Step that left leg back. Right arm's back, 435. Slightly turn in that left hip. Long back leg. If I sit back, I should be able to get my heel down. If not, we need to talk about your ankles. From here, here we go. Rotate it into that front hip. We've got six reps to do. Down, trying to drive that back heel to the ground. Pushing 40% that front stick. Up, that's one. Down. Up, that's two. Good. Keep that front knee stacked over that ankle. Down. Up, that's three. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot. Down. Up, that's four. Let's rev it up. 70%. Remember, 10 second hold on the last one. Down. Drive that back ankle or heel to the ground. Up, that's five. One more time. Abs tight, core tight. Down, pushing at 70. Drive that heel and push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, Woo. come up, put one stick down, find your wall space, right hip facing, stick chest high, squeeze those glutes, pushing into the wall, press, pull, 70% push that outside hand, press, pull, that's two, press, pull, that's three, press, pull, abs tight, that's four, two more, press, Pull, that's five. Press. Pull, that's six. Good. Switch to the other side. Push. Hip square. If you got to go wider, go wider. You can go narrower, go narrower. Here we go. Push. Pull, that's one. Five more. Push. Pull, that's two. Push. Pull, that's three. 70% push that outside hand. Pull, that's four. Stick should bend a little bit. Push, pull, that's five, keep those hips level. Push, pull, that's six. Let's finish with some hinging. Last set right here. Good long hinge, superficial back line, let's go. Wrap those wrists, sticks out in front of you, 10 and two. Pushing down the sticks, butt back, long spine. Push it back, 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 push it back. Come up, that's one, squeeze. Push, reach, push, reach, 50% of the sticks. Push, 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 up. That's two, let's go up to 60. Push, come on, harder, harder. Find more, give me your abs. Push those glutes away. Up, woo! Push, come on, pushing at 60, give me more. Give me more, reach, 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 give me more, 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 more. Up, push. Pull, last one, we're gonna get a 10 second hold at the bottom. Push the hips back, push the arms forward, separate that space as much as you can get, hip to fingertip, and push down for 10, for nine, push harder, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, 
for two, for one, and slowly come up. Woo wee! That got my heart rate up. So we treated that more like a strength and conditioning workout where we went over some prep, specific movement, a skill that we were working on, which in this case was the matrix. And then we did a little two parts or a three part circuit, two sets there at the end. Stick allows us to do this, which is really, really cool. Look at all these people on here, 39 of y'all. Thank you for joining me. Listen, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them as a comment on here. Um, you can find me, I'm at Unconventional Strengths, and I'll be with you here next Thursday for another superficial backline live stick mobility workout. Thanks for joining us, guys.